day two on the Emo's Not Dead cruise. I'm going makeup list for the morning. We are woken up and um, getting ready to go to Helena's kitchen brunch for brunch. The ocean is choppy, which is not was not fun last night. I did not sleep well. Um, I'm already ready for a nap and it's like nine o'clock, so it's gonna be a long night. All right, so we are up on deck 13 right now, um, right above the pool deck, which is deck 12. I'm waiting for our reservation for Helena's Kitchen, um, which is an emote out brunch. Um, we just went to the merch store and spent all of the money, literally. Um, I'll show you all that, that big haul uh, later. They were cleaning out our room, uh, not cleaning out, but uh, doing housekeeping in our room, so I didn't get a chance to um, go through all the swag, but it's been really, really fun. Uh, we just keep running into band members all over the ship. Uh, when we were leaving the cartel store, the guys from the band stopped Rusty and were like, did you buy our, are you gonna buy our jacket hoodie thing? I don't even know what it is. Which we didn't because, do better guys, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> um, <laughs> we didn't want it. Uh, but Rusty responded that he licked it, so. Um, so that was fun, and we keep running into Aaron Gillespie from Under Oath all over the boat. We ran into one of the band members from Silverstein, who <laughs> I was telling a story about how we got off the elevator and Aaron Gillespie was standing there and he walks out and goes, shit! <laughs> the guy from Silverstein made some comment to me, uh, which is funny because it's right in the vein of what I would have said if it hadn't been Aaron Gillespie who had said it, because I was like, oh, oh no, I'm not gonna say anything to you. <laughs> so, uh, it's been fun, it's been fun. We're excited to see what day two has to hold for us, because it's still pretty early. People are generally great. Yeah, people are generally, have generally been great. I can't tell if he's in frame, yep, they're, can't see, can't see him with my glasses on. Um, but yeah, everybody's been awesome. We've been meeting lots of fun people, and um, just having an all-around great time. but I did get to take a nap. Um, Rusty's in line now for the autograph session. Session one, session two is tomorrow, or maybe Friday, I don't know. Um, but today is Under Oath and Cartel and Plain White Tees and Hawthorne Heights. and uh, So we have some vinyl that we're going to get signed today. And then those underwear that were left for us by the end crew. We're gonna also have the band sign those for us, just for fun, and uh, we'll get them framed. It'll be, it'll be fun in our house, a fun little story. So, um, brunch at Cagney's was just okay. Um, it was $100 for the two of us and definitely not worth $100, but it was fun little experience. Um, the decor was awesome, but the food itself was just, it was just okay. I would have rather have eaten um, at the buffet. I think the buffet food looked much better than what we ended up having, but that's okay. We still had fun. Um, and now the day really starts to begin. We 
are done with autographs. Um, we hit every single person there. Uh, under oath, seemed less than thrilled to be there. Um, <laughs> Rusty's laughing at me in the background. <laughs> uh, from there, we went to the Swag Swap, which was the first Swag Swap event that Sixthman has done on one of their cruises. So traditionally on these rock cruises, uh, people will, will bring swag to swap with other cruise members um, as a way to say, hey, remember me from the cruise. And this cruise, Sixth Men decided that there were so many people who were interested in doing it, because we were all talking about it on the Facebook group, that they were gonna do a whole event. Only the event, and I say event very, very loosely, was literally just three tables in a room and it turned into just a free-for-all um, where people were, saw free shit and were like, oh, I want it. So it was supposed to initially be a way to network and meet people and it turned into, I want free shit. And uh, I stayed for about 15 minutes and left because I just couldn't handle it. Um, so I just left my stuff on the table, which is what a lot of people, a lot of people were coming in, taking their stuff, throwing it on the table and leaving. That's what they were being told to do. And, oh, Rusty says that's what they were being told to do. That's not what I was told to do when, um, when I first got there and I was the third person there. So I, I don't know, that was awful. Um, and I would not participate in that again unless it was more organized. So now we're gonna go um, up to see Silverstein on the pool deck, hopefully, hopefully. I have got to check the schedule and make sure it hasn't changed because it is still windy as fuck outside. So hopefully that is happening up on the pool deck. We'll see.
back from seeing Silverstein on Thursday to this little guy. He's just my favorite part of cruises is the little animals that you get when you come back. They're so cute. Ooh, my hair is a lot right now. I saw Silverstein, amazing as always. Finally got to see Thursday because um, last night was a shit show. Um, so just saw them uh, in the freezing fucking cold, uh, but so much fun. They're so good live. Um, so really glad that I got to see that and especially because they played full collapse from front to back. Um, so that was really, really special. And now I am back in the room. Rusty's holding our seats, poor guy. Um, but I'm back in the room to try to get warm because it's fucking freezing out there. And um, I don't do well in the cold. So um, I'm going to try to heat up a little bit and then head back out for dashboard. And Under Oath is doing, I think, Defining the Great Line. So should be fun. <laughs> Guess I should have heard a lot from you Don't you see, don't you
chances It's cool to fake romances And grow up fast And grow up fast And grow up fast And grow up fast, grow up fast. Woo! I'm pretty sure he ripped off Jimmy Eat World in one of the songs that I had never heard. Um, like, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure because I even went and fucking played the song at the show and held it to my ear and held it to Rusty's ear and was like, fucking Jimmy Eat World. So, anyways, I'm tired and I'm cold and I really want to be up to going to see Under Oath um, at 11, 10, 10 45. 10.45, 10.30, I don't know, late, back. after my bedtime. Um, so I am going to stay and rest for the next hour and a half or however long I have. Um, and Rusty's gonna take over the camera for a little bit. And <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's gonna go see the acoustic set of Emery, which actually just started like right now. So I'm gonna pass that off to him and he's gonna go uh, check that out. Should be fun. Don't you party up? Party up.
Yeah. 